Hello, professor and students. My name is Manav, student ID 20301056027. Today, I'll be examining the slide medium sized artery and vein from iLab. So, this is the table of contents, and I've placed a table right below my webcam to follow through with my presentation. I hope you enjoy my presentation. So, this is a slide that I'll be examining, and the organ that I've chosen is the artery. So, there are three cells that I'll be identifying today. The first one will be the squamous endothelial cells. The second one will be the fibroblast, and the third one will be the smooth muscle cells. So what is an artery? An artery is a blood vessel in humans and most of the animals that takes blood away from the heart to one or more parts of the body, such as the tissues, lungs, brain, and etc. Most arteries carry oxygenated blood. The two exceptions are the pulmonary and the umbilical arteries, which carry deoxygenated blood to the organs that oxygenate it which are the lungs and the placenta, respectively. The arteries have three layers. The first layer and the innermost layer is the tunica intima, as shown by the arrow here. The middle layer is the tunica media, as shown by the arrow here. And the outermost layer is the tunica externa, as shown by the arrow here. We'll be identifying three cells from the tunica intima and the tunica media. Now, let's look into cell one identification. If we zoom into the tunica intima, and the upper region of the tunica media, we would see this section. There are three types of cells here, and these are the three cells that we'll be identifying. So for cell one, we'll be looking at these flattened cells shown by the arrow. So for the features of the cells is that they appear flattened and scale-like, they're wider than their height, and they have flattened nucleus. So they obviously fit the description of squamous endothelial cells. Now let's look at cell two which are these cells shown by the arrow. So for the features of the cells is that they appear large, flat, and elongated, which is also known as spindle-shaped. They possess processes that extend out from the ends of the body of the cell. They appear to have a purplish blue staining of the cytoplasm. So this fits the description of fibroblasts. Now let's look at cell three, which are these cells shown by the arrow. So for the features of this cell is that they appear to be spindle-shaped cells. They have a single centrally located nucleus and they are non-striated and surrounded by fibers. So this fits the description of smooth muscle cells. So to summarize this presentation, we have seen that the artery has three walls, which are the tunica intima, the tunica media, and the tunica externa. And when we zoomed into the tunica intima and tunica media, we identified three cells, which are the squamous endothelial cells, the fibroblasts, and the smooth muscle cells. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope my fellow classmates have learned something, and I hope the professor has enjoyed my presentation. Thank you. Have a nice day.